Our next guest is considered to be one of the key figures who helped popularize the arts and craft movement in the country. Let's meet crafter extraordinaire Nancy Abisamis. Nancy, thank you for welcoming us into your adorable, adorable shop. Why Hey Kesi? It's just a random name. Mm -hmm. And then, parang nung nagustuhan namin, parang mas happy na siya pakinggan and yung mga tao gustong-gustong sinasabi yung pangalan. Okay, so tell us about where this whole thing started. When did you get into crafting? Nag-start ako mag-craft when I was young kasi lumaki ako sa province, sa Pangasinan. So kami ng mga kapatid ko, everyday we would make our own toys. So hindi kami bumibili. And I think yung ganong klaseng childhood, parang nahuon niya kami um, para maging makers and crafters. When you say toys, made toys, like kung ano-ano yun? Like kung ano-ano talaga. Kunyari, um, found objects like mga yung um, lata, ginagawa naming mga cars, like anything yes. talaga. So, mahilig kaming mag-experiment. Nakakatawa kasi in this day and age of kala mo lahat ng bata nanonood na lang sa iPad yeah. ng movies, meron pa rin namang lumalaki na ginagamit ang kanilang imagination. But when did you seriously consider crafting as a career. When I graduated from college in 2008, hindi ko talaga alam kung ano gagawin ko. And then 2009, I went back to school, like I studied French. Tapos my thesis, it was about a French poet. And yung thesis ko parang um, visual poetry. So I needed art materials kasi exhibit yung final output. And nakakita ko ng washi tape sa isang blog sa States. Mm -hmm. So sabi ko, wow, sobrang galing naman ng material na to kasi you can, you can use it for anything. And wala pang washi tape sellers in the Philippines. So I figured na parang sayang naman. This discovery sparked Nancy's entrepreneurial spirit and eventually spawned a phenomenon in the then budding local crafting community, the washi tape craze. So this whole Hey Kesi business started when na? Late 2011. And I think parang nasa right time and place ako kasi parang yung mga tao na nag-start na rin sa lang like to hold mga independent fairs like in Tennessee, Alabama. Tapos parang nag-start na rin yung mga tao na mag-try ng different craft forms. Yes. Let's start with one of the crafts you really fell in love with first which is paper, paper cutting. cutting. Nakakita ko ng isang like artwork or paper cut online and super na amaze ako kasi parang for me it's reverse painting kasi in painting ba parang to tell stories you add elements yes. like you add paint right. pero in paper cutting parang you take away the unnecessary yes. areas to create stories Nancy, who considers herself as someone who is not really adept in the art of drawing, finds paper cutting as a suitable medium for people who may be a bit unsure of their illustration skills natutunan ko from crafting is that you can make do with what you have. I just use the patterns and textures that I see. And kunyari, let's say this leaf here, um, para lang siyang simple, simple shape. Okay. Tapos inuulit-ulit ko lang to create this form. For other people who would like to get into paper cutting, I'm, there are YouTube videos. How does that work? Yes, um, actually maraming tutorials online. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, I also hold mga workshops. One of the things that piqued our interest when we visited Hey Kessie is Nancy's paper cut series of swimsuits that represent varying body types of women. Yes. There is a story behind your uh, series here. Kami ng friends ko, like, we weren't comfortable like wearing bathing suits. Tapos na-realize ko na bakit di naman parang required magkaroon ng abs, although gusto namin, ganun. So what I did was, gumawa ako ng mga beating suit na for different body types. Oh, that's so, so different nice. shapes, ganun. To encourage everyone na it's okay, like, if you wanna wear swimsuits, then it's okay. Yes, to celebrate all shapes and sizes. But this shop of yours, Hey Kesi, it does not only hold materials for uh, paper cutting, with all sorts of crafts. You celebrate all crafts here. Can you take us through just a bit of the 
shelves you have here? Okay. Um, siguro, one of my favorite areas here in the shop is the Let's Be Makers area. This one. Kasi it's for literally everyone. Especially yung mga tao na they think that, ah, I'm not creative, I can't do that, ganyan. Here, we have like um, simple tools and materials that they can actually borrow and try crafting. And nakakatuwa kasi dati parang iniisip nila, oh, it's, hey, kasi it's always pink. Parang, it's just for girls, right? Crafting. Pero we noticed na parang even yung boys, like little boys, pumupunta sila dito sa table to, to try the, the, the tools and materials that we have. And then, um, we also have like the washi tape area. Yes. Lahat ng patterns and designs and also yung mga original washi tape designs. Yes. And then here naman, sa other side, we call it the After Nine Keeper. Yung mga local crafters and makers na even if meron silang ibang responsibilities in life, like moms, lawyers, doctors, they still choose to make. They have an avenue to showcase or to sell their works. It really seems talaga the crafting community here, especially in Manila, is growing and even the market. Kasi all of you are uh, booming business and you bagong lipat kayo dito. <laughs> well, what can you say to uh, any person watching? Watching this, who kind of wants to get into crafting, pero like you said, feeling niya di naman ako creative. Hey, kasi is here to remind you na parang before naman ng bata tayo, lahat naman tayo gumagawa. Pero if you really wanna make, I think you just do it. Like start with like pencil and paper and just draw. Start from somewhere. Like start. I think that's the most important thing. Oh, well, thank you, Mansi. Why spend a fortune on something when there are reasonably priced alternatives? Welcome to the Pitan!